Yeah, obviously disappointed. I thought that was a neat opportunity for us and a uh, good atmosphere, and, and uh, we didn't play well. We still had moments, uh, but, you know, they controlled the clock. Um, we didn't play physical enough. We didn't tackle well enough. We didn't block well enough. We didn't coach well enough. We didn't do anything well enough to win against a, a solid team. But I was disappointed in that. Our, you know, we had some stupid, silly penalties, which we should never had. Um, let them control the clock the whole second half, it seemed like, you know, a couple. They had the ball the whole second half and, you know, couldn't get off the field defensively. So give them credit. And um, they did a good job, but uh, disappointed in in our, our entire effort, coaching-wise, playing-wise, and everything. So we got to get better. Yeah, it looks like some kind of concussion thing. I don't know what the severity is. And Smothers was banged up too. And so that limited some of the things we could do. And so we put Ashton in there. And I thought for a guy, a young guy getting in for the first time, he'd he do okay. He was seeing things. But yeah, we were, that limits a little bit what you do. But hell, he was, we never had the ball in the second half. So it was kind of hard to tell. Why not Smooth? Huh? Why not Smooth? Well, Ashton was, we thought had stepped ahead of him a little bit in practice. We'll see who's healthy. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what, what who's healthy. I never knew this cutting in there. Uh, you know, these games you play four games in 17 days, something can happen. But it's just bad luck, I guess. Whatever it is, but you'll see see where they're at in the next day or two. See if they're ready for the next game. What did you say to Ashton, especially before he went out there for that first time? Oh, he's he's pretty headsy guy. I mean, he uh, you know football is important to him. He's always one of the guys that are in watching extra film and so just run the offense and like I said I thought he quitted himself pretty well uh, for the most part a couple of things we'd like to have back but you know it's his first time playing and he'll he'll get better uh, going forward yeah I, I mean yeah I, I was disappointed how we blocked up front I mean I didn't think we moved the pile at all and then they they you know did some stuff that Gave us some opportunities to throw it, and we missed some easy throws and missed some stuff. And, you know, we could make some calls coming back. But, you know, they're a good team. They're a solid team, athletic. You know, they did a good job. I mean, they're a few years ahead of us now, you know, in being Division One. But that ain't an excuse. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't know. What's their budget? What's our budget? That's just football. It's not an athletic like department. Football, uh, it's probably safe to say ours is not that. But you know, anyway, I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying they, they fund their program. They do a good job with it. But I'm still disappointed that we didn't play better. Because had we played better, we obviously think we could have won the game. But that playing better falls back on coaching. I think that's the first thing. You know, how we, how, how, how are we getting these guys? Coach, because we could have. This was a game I thought we could have won, but you could have, should have, would have. Anyway. You started off saying this could have been a neat opportunity for us. What specifically did you mean? Oh, could have been first in the league, man. Shoot, we picked been two games or something, and uh, uh, being first place. But yeah, I don't look that. But I don't really look that far ahead anyway. As far as the end goal, we're just we're supposed to be getting better. And I didn't think we took a step to get better today on any phase. Special teams, offense, defense. I didn't think we took a step forward. And so that's my job as a coach to get it. So probably won't have a fun day tomorrow. They'll have the next day off. But tomorrow, we, we you know, I'm not one to, I don't play mind games or nothing. I just watch the film and be brutally honest. That's a bad call. That's a bad coach's thing. That's a bad play. I mean, we just be brutally honest. And and then we got to be more about it, and not talk about it. And I think sometimes we talk too much. Yeah, for one more question. Those two interceptions, uh, just and, yeah, I think they were leading the country in interceptions coming into this. Just how much of that is their secondary made great plays, or just yeah, I think it's a little bit both. Made a good play, and we made we made we made a bad decision, or a bad throw, whatever it was. For, for both of those, you think a little bit of both. For yeah, the one is that you know we had one on one, we just. You know, that uh, stared the safety right to it. Um, hell, I don't remember the other one. But 
anyway, they're, they're athletic in the secondary, but I also thought we had some opportunities. And I'll watch the film, and I'll see what we can do to get better, and we'll, we'll, we'll coach them up. But like I said, we we got to get back to work in a hurry. Uh, yes, sir. So the second half, I feel like they came out and they wanted a little bit more than us uh, all across the board as a whole defense. But uh, size-wise, I think we, we matched up pretty well. It's just I feel like they wanted a little bit more and they prepared a little bit better than us. Is that the first time you felt that way this year? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, yes, sir. I feel like next week we got to come out and we got to have the intention to go out there and prepare to win. And you know what I mean? We have to do that every single day, not just a couple of days out of the week. And Tonight, I, t I feel like it showed up. For this to be kind of, some people said this was probably the biggest test this season so far. How do you guys think you measured up? You guys were tied going into half. How do you guys think you measured up to this one? Um, I feel like going into the halftime, you know, we was good executing plays. We just let a couple big plays slip from us. So I feel, you know, this film going to show us a lot we got to work on and just, you know, get back together and stay as a team, stay as a unit. Because I feel like we was the better team. So. Oh, the atmosphere was great. Uh, huge shout out to the fans, to uh, the students, student body as well for coming out. Um, the energy was great the whole entire game. Um, you know, it's a Tuesday night, so we're very appreciative of that, and hope they come out next week as well. Quay, can you can you talk about what you uh, what you thought of their quarterback and how he did tonight? Oh yes, sir. He he's he's a great guy. He's a great player. Um, he he's shifty in the pocket and uh, he likes to scramble. So you know we struggled with that a little bit tonight with containing him. But overall, he's a great player for them. We saw um, Ashton Fry come in. Just what did you see from him as a receiver? Uh, you said Ashton? Yes. Oh, for him to beat his first college you know game as a quarterback, I felt he did good, especially the first drive. You know he wasn't nervous. He wasn't too big out or nothing. So. I feel like for that to be his first start, you know, in the college game for that drive, he did very well. So it's going to be, he's going to have a, a good year. It's going to be a great player for us. After the, the, I guess this is the third midweek game. You've had one of each day. Um, what's your thoughts on playing the midweeks? And I guess is there a, a day that you prefer if you had to play the midweek? Would you just have to play the midweek? Is there a day you'd rather play it? Uh, for me, not really. Uh, all of them felt the same. <laughs> but um, yes, I, I enjoy it. It's, it's different. Uh, the preparation is a little bit different for me. Uh, I'm used to playing on Saturday. So just like Saturdays are actually like Mondays and Tuesdays for us. So practicing on the weekend can kind of be challenging at times. But other than that, it's been, I've, I've enjoyed it. I feel it's the same. It's just, it takes a toll on your body. You know, having to do a quick turnaround from a game and then go back to another game. I feel that's the, that's the only big difference, just takes a toll on your body, keeping your physical right. But if I had to pick, I'd say like a Thursday. Thursday would be good. Perry, Perry, can you talk about your, your catch uh, at the first quarter that kind of set the team up at the two? Oh, yeah, it was, you know, it was a good catch. I know we needed a little momentum. And I wish I could have stayed up, you know, got in the end zone. But I'm glad Logan got in the end zone. We just got to, you know, keep looking at film, keep seeing those plays, and we got to do more stuff like that. Is that your favorite catch you made this year? Or would you say maybe that touchdown against Sam Houston was better? Probably Sam Houston, because I know that you know that helped the team. So anything I could do to help the team, that's that's when I'm happiest. So that's we what it's all about. Time for about two more questions for the guys. Uh, Perry, just we know that Jordan McCants was really good in preseason camp. Just what did you see from him as well? Just seeing him play like that. Oh yeah, he had an amazing catch on that sideline. So when I saw him catch that, I was on the field, but I had to stop to watch it. I was like. That made me happy because, you know, I've been taking him under my wing because he used to play slot receiver. So when he made that catch, I was more happy than he probably was because I'm like, that's a big time play. So he's going to be a great player. For both of the, for both of the guys, uh, what's the conversation like on the sideline late, especially when y'all see Ashton go out and, and I don't know, is there any conversation about maybe helping him out both on offense and defense? I know defensively it was a different look for us, but as always, when the offense is out there and we have time, we're, we're cheering them on no matter who's a quarterback. And I feel like that's a great thing to have because it doesn't matter who's in, we're all a team and we're going to support who's ever out there. At that moment, I just told him, you know, it's your first time coming in. Just, you know, don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Just go out there and play. Treat it like, you know, high school football, middle school football. It's the same thing. So he was ready. I could see in his eyes he was ready. and He made great plays for us. So.